To write the name for MgOH2, we first need to recognize this OH here. This is called the hydroxide ion. So when we have OH bonded to a metal like magnesium, this is a polyatomic ion called the hydroxide ion. We have two hydroxide ions. Magnesium, that's a metal. So we have this metal and these nonmetals here, the polyatomic ion and the hydroxide ion here. Metal and nonmetals, this is an ionic compound. We're going to use these rules here to write the name for MgOH2. First, we write the name of the metal. That's Mg, which is magnesium. Next, we write the name for the polyatomic ion. That's the hydroxide ion. So this is one you really should remember. So the name for MgOH2 is just magnesium hydroxide. If you're given the name and need to write the formula, you need to recognize that magnesium is in group 2 on the periodic table. It has a 2 plus ionic charge. And then this whole hydroxide, that's always 1 minus. So we need two hydroxide ions here to get a 2 minus to balance the 2 plus out, have a net charge of 0. Also note, when you have this OH here bonded to the metal, this is considered to be a base. So when you hear something like magnesium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide, that is going to be a base. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.